All right, hello everyone. So let's take a look at the market today. Today's Friday. Now I've already posted the hours, as you can see here. And yesterday with gold, let's start off with gold. Now remember with gold, okay, with a swing day Thursday, that 2,606 we've marked in before in any case. And that was there, as you can see, 2,607, 2,606. Doesn't really matter here. Stops were sweeped. Okay, and I've marked that in yesterday because I said it's just, you know, if we break outwards, then, you know, we should follow that. Why? Because Thursday being a swing day and the market's been coming down all week from the highs, Thursday buying to push up was like the best trade you could do. So the market went up. Now, here, what you needed to do <clears throat> because there was news market goes up as you can see it pulls back into the good buy kiss okay so here is your adjustment level this was before the news when i marked it in as you can see here and then this is after the news okay so the market goes up breaks out good buy kiss but this good buy kiss is at the right time and then it just pushes up as you can see so this is all good <clears throat> simply because it worked in our favor and the market is up remember we want to go up into there so what am i always saying on the pullbacks we need to look for a position to get in okay and that's basically it so we're still going up all right and that's that now what will the market do as you can see this 57 58 is going to be a place 2641 to 44 if you're using your PSD, it would have targeted that out. And 44, as you can see, that's right where the market stopped right now. Okay, so this is your zone here. Now, if the market breaks above that, okay, then we've got room to go up. And on the daily, you can see if it breaks out, there's a lot of room to go up. Okay, so you can come into 2,665 and so on. And this will like take off like as much as that right so we should wave and push push upwards and that should bring us really to what is that 2824 all right so it should kind of like wave and kind of push up kind of thing uh, and that's basically it but it, we have to break above that why is this a bit critical because it's a good buy kiss location right so on the weekly we had a push down on the daily we've got to pull back okay so this could also be like you know a sell position as well into 2583 all right so that goodbye kiss location is important if it today is also friday okay and today we do have some pushy pushy moves it'll be pushy pushy and that pushy pushiness can go on okay and yesterday actually was good um the evening was good to this 835 let me show you that this was actually a really nice time in the evening for the market to pull back and if you've done any training with me you should have taken this 835 one plus this was also on the cards too but this really was the one okay why because the market pulled back and then this became a target and it stuck around here and i also gave you yesterday the evening hour as well after the market closed which was right there okay that 120 okay and then from there as you can see it's just pulled up and now we're sticking around here now look it's a trading hour here so the market right now is 6 11 here and this is six o'clock to 6 45 this is a place where the market can pull back into this zone again and if we do pull back this is going to be a buy zone here so if the market does come back there'll be some buyers coming in so what you have to do then obviously check out your right swing hours okay and see when they're coming in now you can see there are few close hours here and because we've got news coming out today that news is going to be 
let's bring this over here as well okay today coming out at 330 right and what do I have here I've got 355 so once the news comes out we're going to go to a place where the market is either 355 we're either going to keep pushing pushing okay um, or it's going to pull back to push up all right so that 355 and 515 can be locations where the market can give you an opportunity on a pullback to get in or it could be a breakout and a pullback to get in all right so there'll be like you know good times to look out for and this two o'clock 130 to 2 o'clock, 130, 155 might be a good setup time. Okay. So if the market does pull back, might be like a good setup where the market will hang around until the news and then push in a direction. Okay. So utilizing those hours are all good. Uh, we've got a nice breakout expanding, as you can see from the sideways zone. But if you were a buyer yesterday, Thursday, breakout, you know just follow it through pull back to go up all right that's the beauty about swing days let's take a look at the euro dollar with the euro dollar remember we had this zone yesterday so no dramas there and all you got to do guys follow again your swing days right remember on monday i've already posted that i said thursday can be a big day okay so we had the dip down and up and now we've got friday okay so if we take a look at that we've got friday see the thursday here big drop down and a pull up and this is it and this was a zone we said we would get into okay so now we've got room to go now when we go up okay yesterday i also said it's a bit of a sandwich zone now if the market pulls back Okay, because we've got news coming out. It's 0892. Why 0892? It's the good buy kiss there. Okay, the first resistance of the day is 30, which is 0941. So if I put 0941, this is the resistance of the day. Okay, 0892 is right here. Okay, and this is a place you can look to go long it's friday the market didn't get up there but at the end of the day if you also check out your swing hours whatever for yesterday did we have anything here no what was that 345 yesterday no we had three o'clock so nothing there as you can see so that was the news after the news beautiful place to get in right on the hour and then pushing up we still have room to come down a little bit more okay so this is why the market can dip down so that 45 you must keep it on your cards so 92 to 73 is there all right so the market can still dip down so be mindful about that if you know we're going to depend on the news but on the daily here if the market starts to break above that your first target is going to be that 33 and a sell order in the market can come in at 0955 as well so it's a little tricky but it's a swing day so if at the swing hours we're down might not be a bad idea to oops to buy oh come on 0955 is there all right and if it breaks above that as well we've got room to go up so you know look a bit of a pullback to go up is is i think the way to go also there's a slight gap here all right as you can see so you know swing day if it's low going up is okay if we start to go up and next week we should go above that level so i'm going to get rid of this well I'll, I'll keep it here okay why because that is a level there but it should go above that level if it starts to pick up 
all right so then we can look for a get back in and push up next week but we still might have room to come down which i don't mind following down as well but not today obviously it's a swing day today so you know i'd rather be a buyer today on any pullback okay so sp500 with the sp500 as well guys if you take a look okay what do we say we said monday or tuesday okay for sp500 and nasdaq and dow jones monday too now we've got friday okay and then as you can see this is friday that's your monday that's your tuesday sell off buy and now we're on a friday which is a swing day so this should kind of like take us somewhere and we've got a breakout so that's all good okay and that's all good so all we have to do now is once again as well on a pullback we can go up okay yesterday i also did say this should come back down and i said there's a gap here and there's a pst level that's your good buy kiss here as well now we've got a sideways market if the market dips down as well stop sweeps that's your where's your manipulation bar here on a 15 minute chart it's this one here okay it's that one there all right so this zone if we dip down again okay buying may not be such a bad idea after all okay and that's basically it right on the blue line there if you're using your pst indicator on the price and on the weekly as well as you can see you got that breakout okay so it's all good pushing back up um with this as well remember we could you can mirror that as well so approximately there all right so this has got room to go up as well so all you have to do is pull back by pull back by make it to the target close the positions and then see how we go from there based on swing days all right so this should all work the same for all the indices but you can see is if you're following you know like if you're following if you're on top of it with the hours and price you know it's it's all good um nothing really to worry about um and this is us 30 now with the us 30 this is yesterday right yes so that's yesterday thursday yesterday i said we might have more room to come down here but it didn't do that okay um remember with this one we had wednesday for a swing day and what a wednesday that was boom all right just like really nice and clean wednesday going up from their tuesday monday tuesday with the indices and we had remember wednesday for dow jones wednesday okay and then it just went haywire okay it was just nice uh, going up so now we're on the breakout zone as well so yesterday being thursday market comes back 9:45, and yesterday which is the 10th okay if you get your hours in there you'll see we had 9:55 there right it's 9:55. we also had 8 25 35 okay but that's 9 30 going on to 9 45 so 9 55 is actually there all right market comes back fills in the gap you see all right this is why i always say mind the gap okay it fills the gap at the right hour 8 30 on the other hand is as you can see here okay that's your 8 30 8 28 30 is there so this zone is still a buy zone because at the end of the day you can see they've been they're bought from here okay so this is like a buy zone it pulls back again into there and then goes up okay so impulse wave market pulling back so we've got a zigzag formation any pullback once again is good to push up as well because we've got a breakout okay on the weekly two if you take a look we're at 69 and the highest the market did is 69.72 so we're still like on the pst but this looks like it's got pushing power and remember on the weekly we did this as well so 
it should kind of like be going upwards. Let's take a look at NASDAQ, same kind of thing, nothing dramatic, um, because with NASDAQ as well, we're not going to move in any other direction. Also, we had for this one, remember Monday, Tuesday, that's your Monday, that's your Tuesday pushing up, okay, Wednesday with Dow Jones, Thursday, we're in the zone, I said this is not a good place to buy because it's a sell zone, um, so I would be careful here. Once you start making targets on the PST, you really got to, you know, be cautious about it. If you still want to buy, because there are targets up there, like, you know, 60, what's that? 68, 70, 73. You can see it's 20,396. Um, 20,300 is already done. 396, you've got 20,486 with the 70 and so on so you still you know there's still a bit of room to push up so if you're interested in trading in that kind of situation where you're at the highs and you still want to go up into the you know last targets possible that it might make then your best bet is to always buy the lower end all right so we had this yesterday we must have had this yesterday for me to put a sign in there so as you can see market kind of like pulled back into something um yeah maybe there or maybe there and then that's it so yeah or the breakout okay maybe that was not a pst but this is the breakout zone so i must have said if it pulls back into the breakout goodbye kiss you can buy once again look this is see where the market is this is 445 we didn't have a 445, as you can see, right? 122.20. So 122.20 is up here somewhere. That's 220. 120, not the best place to get into a trade. Why? Because it's already up. It's already up. And if you see there's a place to come back down to, then buying here is obviously not the best deal especially before New York opens. So then you've got 8.30 is there. And then you got 9.55, wasn't it? That's your 9.55 there. Okay. So that's also not the best place to get in. It's right in the middle of the zone. It's just not, just not right. If this was a swing hour, trade hour, and pulled back into there, you know, like with the euro dollar or whatever, then that would have been fine. But here, you see, there's not much to do. You've got to be a bit picky with your time and price and not be stuck in, um, you know, not be stuck in like, oh, I trade NASDAQ, so I'm going to trade that every day and all day kind of thing. Okay, is your Bitcoin. Now with Bitcoin, nice, nice sell-off, which we talked about. Okay, we said, you know, we've got like room to come down to also with bitcoin if you take a look at what i posted on the weekend for the swing days we've got monday tuesday and friday so that was like nice and this is friday you can see monday okay monday tuesday market crashing down coming down and we did say we've got room to come down okay on the weekly as well but friday is a swing day so market doing the buying okay as you can see it's just pushing up and this was also like good level yesterday now that friday swing day can retest the low and make a lower low because we're right in a good buy kiss zone here at 69.24 as per price and there's a bit of a gap here to the low of that which is 61.823 so if you want to be 61.823 is just going to be there. All right, so. So somewhere around there, okay. So this is still doable. Market can push up and sell off again. Take out stops, fill in the gap. Okay, so mind the gap here. And there's a bit of a gap there, so it might just sweep and push. So the market can still push down to make a lower low on a Friday and then pick up on the weekend. It's still doable. 
okay so the market can still push down and do it this is the manipulation bar which they came to dip their fingers into which is fine on the weekly though we still got to be sharp because we've got 44 on the radar 55 8, 8, 3, which is too far down as you can see it's like all the way down here but still uh, if the market is gonna buy we need to like come back retest do something okay so wait for that retracement don't just dive in and if it keeps pushing up you know don't jump into it because you're going to be in too late so be smart it's a swing day you want to buy fine do it on a pullback when it's cheap at a trading hour which matches a technical price that is all have a good weekend